Hi everyone, it's the English Simmer here, and today I am going to show you guys how to set up the Elgato Stream Deck to The Sims 4. So I got this idea from Urban Sims. Jen posted this on Twitter, and I thought this was genius. So big shout out to Jen. I will leave a link to her channel down below. If you don't know Jen, if you aren't subscribed to her here on YouTube, definitely go check her out. She's a Let's Player in The Sims 4 and I absolutely love the girl to death. So I thought I would also set up my stream deck with hotkeys for The Sims 4 and this is a lifesaver. So I posted this to Twitter in a tweet and so many of you guys were asking how I did it and please teach me how to do this. So this right here is the Stream Deck. It is by Elgato. And this tool is super handy if you are a content creator of any form. It's basically an unlimited amount of macro keys, which is so helpful for any program. I know it's called the Stream Deck, so obviously it's super useful if you are a streamer, but there are so many other things that you can do with this handy little tool. So I'm gonna walk you through how to set up a Sims 4 profile to use it for hotkeys and anything you may use in the game. As you can see, this is currently the profile that I have. I am definitely going to expand on it. This was just the one that I sort of started on. I also have some things down here for when I'm streaming The Sims 4. So we aren't gonna go into those, but these are the ones that I use for The Sims 4 when the game is running. So how do we get this set up, you say? First of all, you have to create a new profile. So head down here to edit profiles and then we are gonna hit this little plus and add a new profile. I'm gonna rename this one to Sims Test. There we go, and we're gonna select it, and then you need to connect this profile to a specific application. To do so, you have to find the Sims 4 XE folder. So if we go to other right here, this will open up your files. And basically, mine's already on here as I set it up very recently, but you are going to have to find the Sims 4.exe File. To do this super easily, if you type in ts4.exe, you should be able to find it super simply. I am going to use the 64-bit version and then I'm going to hit open. Obviously, I am just doing this as a test, so there is a warning that says there are multiple profiles using the application The Sims 4. This profile won't be executed, but I am merely showing you guys how to set this up. So once you've got it connected to the application, you have to come up here to your profiles, select the profile that you just created, and you will be welcomed by Elgato's setup on how to work the Stream Deck. You can just delete that. Yes, I want to delete that item. And then this is where we can start setting up the Stream Deck for The Sims 4, either cheats or hotkeys, whatever you think is going to be helpful to you as a player. So the first thing that I actually wanted to set up was creating the cheat bar. I use cheats an awful lot to get Let's Plays set up and everything like that. So it was really handy for me to have a hotkey for the cheat bar. So what you are going to do to find that is you're going to go to system, you're going to choose a hotkey and then you can just simply drag this over to where you want it placed on the stream deck. So we are gonna place a hotkey right here. I'm going to title this cheat bar so that I know exactly what it's for. And then click to assign a hotkey. Obviously in The Sims 4, you bring up the cheat bar by hitting Control Shift C. So that is gonna be the hotkey. Whenever I tap this button and The Sims 4 is running, the cheat bar will appear 
at the top of the game where it usually does. You will need to set this up if you want to use cheats. You need to set it up as a hotkey or else your cheats won't have anywhere to go. So you still do need the cheat bar in the game and the hotkey is the easiest way to set this up. Over here, you can choose an icon for it. I personally have personalized all my icons on my stream deck. So for my Sims 4 profile, I use Lunaverse Sims icons that they have taken from in the game. I will leave a link to all of those icons down below. They have icons for every single pack. So if we create set from file, these are my Twitch emotes, but we don't want to set them up as my Twitch emotes. We want to set them up as the Sims 4 icons. I currently only have the base game ones downloaded, but there are ones for every single pack. So here we go. These are all the icons that are available. So for the cheat bar, say if I wanted to use a magic hat, because cheats are pretty darn magic, if you ask me. We just hit open and there you have it. You can get rid of the text. You don't need to name it. If you can remember what each individual icon stands for, then feel free to get rid of the text to make your Elgato look a little bit smoother, but I never remember what they are, so I like to keep the text on. You can also change the size so it looks a little bit better, a little bit cleaner, and you can just take a quick glance to see what you are clicking. So we know how to access the cheat bar. You set it up as a hotkey, but then how do you add the cheats? And to do this, you have to use the text option down here in the system tab. We all know that cheats are just typed out pieces of text. So you can grab a text, drag it over to where you want to place it on your stream deck and say if I wanted this one to be, let's say this one is testing cheats. So there we go. And the text that you type in for this cheat is just testing cheats on. And this will enable testing cheats in your game. You can choose to press enter after message, which basically means that you won't need to hit enter on your keyboard. I do have this selected for most things. So as soon as I hit testing cheats, testing cheats will automatically turn on and I will get the notification under the cheat bar in game that says that this has been switched on and therefore I can use all the other cheats. This goes for for any cheat in the game. So say if we wanted a money cheat, I could add mother load and I would hit this. I choose to press enter after message. I could keep on tapping this and my mother load would just go up and up and up and I'd get 50,000 simoleons every single time I tap this little key. It's a great feature if you don't want your sims to work hard for their moolah. So just to give you guys an idea of what I I actually have set up at the minute. Obviously, I have my cheat bar, I have testing cheats on, mother load, I have a reset sim, so the sim that I currently have selected will get reset. I have move objects on, the holy grail of all sims cheats, show hidden objects, free build mode, ignore gameplay so I don't have to type in that ridiculously long cheat every single time, and I also have an option for free real estate. I definitely am gonna add more onto this. I can add promotions onto this just so it can add the text and then I can add in the career that I want to promote someone in. And it's just super handy to have this all on one place. What you can also do if you, for example, want to set up more hotkeys, say if you wanted a hotkey for go down a floor and go up a floor. You would click and drag the hotkey and then you would say up floor in a house and then click to assign. And we all know that going up a floor in The Sims 4 is used by using the page up. So this will translate into the game and you can then go up a floor. If you wanted to do down a floor, you would add another hotkey, drag it over here. You could say down floor. And to do this, you would hit page down. And then these two would 
create floor up and floor down if your house has more than one floor. Super handy to know. If you wanted to have loads of hotkeys, as you can see, I'm currently running out of space on this profile. So what you can do is create a folder. Say if I wanted to set this up as hotkeys, and then what you can do from this point is with the folder, you can drag and drop these hotkeys into the folder and then go back to the main one, drag and drop this one into the folder and also the cheat bar considering that is a hotkey as well. And then we could right click, create a new folder for cheats and then drag and drop each one of the cheats into this folder as well. So what this basically does is creates unlimited buttons that you can use for your Sims 4 game. This is super handy. Like I said, this tool isn't just for streamers. This video is not sponsored by Elgato. I personally bought the Stream Deck for when I started streaming. It was a present that was bought for me for Christmas that I really, really wanted. And ever since learning more about how the Stream Deck work, and again, with the help from Jen for giving me this inspiration, I was able to figure out how to set it up to really just make my productivity flow whilst playing The Sims 4. I hope this video helped some of you guys. If you have ever thought about purchasing the Stream Deck, I hope this made your decision a little easier. Like I said, it's not just a powerful tool for streamers, but for any type of gamer or content creator. I really think you can really make the most out of this if you use your creativity and it's definitely an essential tool for me when it comes to my own content creation. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more videos like this in the future, maybe how to's or tips on how I create my content, then definitely leave your comments and suggestions down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if it helped you set up your stream deck. Maybe even a cheeky subscribe if you would like to see content like this in the future. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. I will try and answer every single question that I see in the comments. Thank you all for your support and I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye guys.